Hello once again, game replays. This is Chains here again. I'm gonna bring a replay here from the beta tournament once again. Uh, this time it's Sorny Hill, also known as M3 Alum, as uh, Americans on Samoa, versus Manchurian, who is some Wehrmacht player. Uh, M3 Alum is playing. On his account, Sorny Hill. I don't know. I think it's a Smurf. Well, let's jump into this game. I'm gonna unpause in three, two, one, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten seconds. All right. First, I want to say that M3 Alum is a old clanmate of mine so I'm I hope he wins this game <laughs> oh by the way this is round three and game number two so pretty interesting this is a high level replay so Hope to see some good action here on Samoa once again. Alright, we have some capping okay, give me at the uh, medium fuel as you always want early as early as possible to yeah. get some teching going in there for your squads or for your M8s or whatnot. Mature is going for his strat point. Probably gonna wire off this bridge with his pioneers if he manages to do that in time before the engineers come into play. And Frey Allen is going for the for the high muni point, I guess. Oh, this is gonna go for a boss victory point, yeah. May, might be a victory point rush, as they call it. You cap the victory points early on to drain the opponent's victory points to have an advantage later in the game. Okay, wire here from Mashurian, just as I predicted. I haven't watched this game before. This is a very normal. Uh, <laughs> Almost a standard place to wire off. Oh, we do have riflemen. They are gonna fend off these pioneers. Yep, they have to retreat. We also have some wire here on this side. Very effective uh, use of wire. It blocks riflemen off this area. If they go, in, if they go from this direction, which I'm showing with you with the mouse. In the nearest though, they can just cut through everything, so no problem with if you got engineers walking around. Uh, some wolves here and there is occupying a house in the middle. Just nothing. Just doesn't really do anything. At this point, nice flank here by the riflemen once again. Almost killed that pioneer squad actually. Uh, pioneers occupying another house here on the right side. That house actually got a uh, crane or what? No, some kind of lifting device. I can't remember what it's called right now. <laughs> Alright, MG is setting up. I'm gonna switch over to make sure and see the arc of fire. Well, it doesn't really see those riflemen behind those uh, those hedgerow bushes right there. Now, yes, flank from engineers hopping into the house. We're gonna put some hurt on that MG42. Oh, you can see they're doing some damage there. They also have a flanking rifleman squad. 
you read this weapon then, please? Yep. I hope they get in time. I hope they retreat in time though. Yep, they do. Because you never want to lose a rifle squad early on. Oh, we got grenades. Look at this. Kills three of four men in that holster in their squad. Deadly grenade there. MG set, sets MG setting up the, an, another way. Trying to pin those riflemen, but they. Whoa, another nade. Oh, kills another rifle. Walks around there, man. And that MG is in, in danger now of being overrun because there's one Ruffman squad here with grenades. And if they get in range and throw a grenade, they have a chance of actually killing the whole crew of the machine gunner team. So always be careful with your MGs when you face. Uh, pineapple grenades. I mean, early pineapple grenades because they are the most deadly ones. Mm, the rifleman doesn't get suppressed for some reason. Manages to throw a grenade, killing one man. Not really that effective. I have an unfinished mine here by my, by Manchurian on the road there. Interesting. Oh, we have a pioneer squad with almost no health. You can see the bar here. Oh, you can see on the other bar here we have some health points, but <laughs> he can like take one shot from a rifleman squad and then he should die immediately. Some very interesting mine placement here by my Shurian too. Right beside that well. Can I look into the well? Nope, there's nothing there. It's just stone. So, no water from that well, I guess. Hmm. I am ready for mm, sniper out from Masurian now. What is M3 Allen gonna do about that? Ah, oh, some Volkswagen there is walking into a well placed mine by M3 Allen. I actually never saw him plant that mine. Is he. Did he choose infantry company? Yes, he did. You can see here on the icon in the in the bottom here. He has chosen infantry company and the rifleman can knife. Now uh, plant mines just like engineers plant mines. Oh, he's gonna lose a rifleman squad here. He was. That was a pretty late retreat, but he was trapped inside this area, so he was gonna run through uh, the fire of the Volkswagen and the sniper fire. And was probably lost. He was probably gonna lose that rifle squad anyway, so nothing, really mu nothing much he really could have done there. Why did he retreat that sniper that early? That squad got suppressed and now he can change. Okay, there's rifle squads coming in from every direction, I guess. But he should have retreated that squad there. Oh, they managed to sneak out, taking a lot of damage down. And these Volkswagen are in light cover, yellow cover. And those is right. Huh. He decided to retreat even though those two rifle squads riflemen doesn't really have any kind of health points. Well, it's not always Let's get this over with God damn it. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. But anyways we have some decapping here from the American player. Managed to decap a strat point, always a good move. Cutting off some fuel and high munitions points there from the axis. Machines should really retreat that pioneer squad. Well, we managed to survive once again. We have, we've had some lucky retreats in this game so far. And 
some unlucky, I guess. Or, <laughs> yeah, the rifle squad, which was in this area over here, didn't actually survive. I'm just gonna take a sip here. Sorry about that. Does... Oh! Grenadiers almost walked into a mine there. Managed to survive. I mean, <laughs> to dodge it. Uh, we have more mines planted by Mercurian. Those pioneers are really doing a good job of clearing mines and putting down mines. Oh, you see that? The rifle squad <laughs> ran straight into the mine. And I hope those pioneers are gonna put another mine there after the one other one got blown up. He, he, meanwhile, here in the north, we have had some engineers trying to ninja captive uh, Mashurian's uh, uh, middle medium fuel right there, but it didn't. It wasn't that successful. Infusing some mines here by Manchurian, always good. Minus 25 munitions for the American player who has OP'd this uh, strat point, I mean medium fuel point, and is actually having a M8 coming out to the field now. That's gonna change the battle a bit because I think, don't think there's, yeah, okay, there's a pack out from the Axis play, player, so he should be fine. Um, more ninja capping, maybe going for the medium fuel, or is he gonna take the long way around and try and kill off those pioneers at the range because they have a flamethrower, as you can see. And you will, you will want to stay at the range when you fight, fight those. Oh, he decides to immediately retreat because the rifle squad has full health and you can't really engage full health rifle squads with the uh, injured flamer pioneer squad without any kind of veterancy. So, I made clearing off, clearing out some wire here so the infantry can pass through. Effective way to <laughs> clear wire actually. Yeah, he's clearing that other wire too, but the pack is now aware of the M8 and he's setting up in a direction. You can see it right here, it's gonna almost go into range from the pack and he's gonna decloak and try and get a shot up. Oh, you <laughs> did you see that shot? The pack <laughs> got a pretty weird angle and yeah, M8 backs out over there smartly. He doesn't want to fight a pack. Um, the pack actually only gets one shot off before it decloaks the gun. That's another beta change, if you didn't know that already. Which I think is an excellent change. And I hope we can see the full release of the patch soon. Because there's been a couple of months now, I think. Maybe it's only been one month. Ah, well, whatever. Um, I don't know what these guys are doing here. Something's going on over here now. Nothing really going on at all. Uh, M3L managed to actually decap this fuel point though, so always good move. And also we have bars up from M3L, aka Sorny Hill. Front shifting. Most soldiers are gonna take a peek here from the church, as you know, the church gives you extra line of sight. You can see here he has a lot of line of sight here when he popped into the church. Oh, now my computer is doing a bit of lag here, but now it's alright again. No, oh, it's not alright. Oh, what the hell? No lag, please. Okay, it's back. 